Hello and welcome to another compilation edition of Whose Line Is It Anyway? A compendium of magic moments which you haven't seen before. They're bits that were going to be thrown away, but they've been brought together to make one fantastic whole. Let's see it now. Hope you enjoy it. We start tonight with a game called Questions Only, and why not? And this is going to start off with uh, Greg and Rory. I'll be down there and they have to improvise a scene only speaking in questions. And if they go wrong, I'll buzz, and the other two will be replace them in a sort of uh, tag wrestling style. Uh, and they have no physical violence, I hope. And the scene I want you to do, you're in, <laughs> you're in the Olympic Village. In the Olympic Village, talking only in questions. Oh, right. Take it away, Greg and Rory. Uh, how long have you been here? When did you arrive? Didn't you see the coach outside? Is that your coach? Haven't you seen a coach before? Not one that big. <laughs> Do you want your javelin? Are you here for the rugby? <laughs> Would I be holding a javelin if I was here for the rugby? Did you hear the buzzer? What did that sound like? You, you didn't hear it? <laughs> you didn't hear it, I think it's not quite a question. That sounded like a cry for help for me. Am I, am I too late for the slalom? What time are you supposed to be here? Is three o'clock too late? Three o'clock? <laughs> I understand you're leaving early. <laughs> have we met before? When could that have been? Wasn't it on the slalom? Did you participate in the last Olympics? Look <laughs> <laughs> at that, Rory. Like my gold medal? Did you win that here? Who else would? <laughs> you told me you bought it. <laughs> you got it? How did you get my medal? Have you ever heard of Schaetzerlin? Have I heard of what? <laughs> have you ever heard of Switzerland? Switzerland's in Europe, isn't it? Do you have any sandwiches? Would you like ham or cheese? Is there a difference? <laughs> Don't you know the difference between ham and cheese? Do I look hungry? Do you want the green one? Is that bad? <laughs> Depends. <laughs> oh, Alison, I want the game there to Ryan. First time ever. <laughs> sort of looking at his gorillas in the mist. Ryan, you are a zoologist. You've been living with gorillas for about 20 years, and Colin has arrived to tell you it's time to come home. Improvise that scene. I've given you most of the plot, and I'll give you some styles. Dr. Simeon? Huh. <laughs> Dr. Phillips? Yes, I've come from the mainland. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Stop it. Huh. You have to go home. You've been out here with the gorillas much too long. You're starting to take on their very characteristics. And I love it out here. This is home to me. I can't return to everything I left back there. Look, I know you're happy here raising your little family, <laughs> but some of the other apes are beginning to talk. What? A pirate movie. Talk? <laughs> Arr, you heard me. <laughs> and what would they be talking about? They'd be talking of a buried treasure around here. There ain't no treasure. X <laughs> don't work the spot in these parts, my friend. <laughs> I've heard tale of some golden bananas. Have you? Aye. Those are bananas that don't exist. They're in men's minds. <laughs> Walk the plank. <laughs> Coming up a little bit from there, and maybe the way to put it back down. <laughs> I'd have to make some repairs to the hut. <laughs> Muffets. <laughs> How's that, Doctor Simeon? <laughs> I walked on one end, and the other end went up. <laughs> and then I walked on the other end, and the grabber goes up too. Well, what do you think we should do about that? Really? <laughs> I suppose we should do some repairs in the house. Oh, oh get a hammer. Oh, get a hammer. <laughs> What's Yogi Bear doing in there? <laughs> He's not a Muppet. <laughs> do, a, do a Western. <laughs> this hut ain't big enough for the two of us. Oh. But I guess... One of us is you have to get out of this hut. <laughs> Ain't gonna be me. All right. I don't want any of that humming anymore either.
we go on to a game called Let's Make a Date. This is for Brad, who's going to be pretending to be appearing on a dating programme on the television. And he's got to select from the other three who he'd like to go out on a date with. And to make it even more fun, uh, each of the uh, possible dates has been given a strange persona uh, to represent. And Brad doesn't know what they are. He has to guess what it is. If he doesn't, he doesn't get to go out with anybody. So, take it away, Brad. Uh, bachelor number one. I love romance, so what would you do to romance me? <laughs> well, first I'd take you out for a run through the park, and then after that, maybe a little kibble, and uh, if you like it, you know, a little fetch. Oh. You like fetch? That sounds festive. Uh -huh. Good, uh -huh. good. Bachelor number two. What is the most romantic thing you've ever done on a date? Uh, bachelor number two isn't my real name. All right. <laughs> All right, can you say the question again, please? Uh, what's the romantic, most romantic thing you've ever done, Mr. Can't you get through X? a whole sentence without just stumbling? <laughs> One sentence, that's all I want. <laughs> no stumbling. Okay, um, I'll go on to bachelor number three. Hello, Susan. Hi. Uh, um, I was wondering, <laughs> what, what would you do to treat me like a lady? Well, I'd, I'd probably uh, open a bottle of... Uh... <laughs> Hello, Susan. We're all here watching you. Pick number three, Susan. He's the most attractive. Susan, Susan, we're killed. I'm so... And some nice music. How odd. Bachelor number one again. Oh, just woo me. Woo me, please. That's right, baby. That's right. Work, come on, come on. Now turn around. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's it. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Give me a bone. Mm. <laughs> Isn't that fetching? Number two. I'm not. Isn't that fetching? Oh, come on. <laughs> well, I'm not going to ask you anything, bastard. Now, <laughs> number three. I don't like either one of these two. Mm. How can you whisk me away on a fun-filled fantasy? Well, first we get tickets for. Oh, yeah. Susan. Susan, why did you leave me? <laughs> Probably in Spain. <laughs> okay, Brad, who are they? Well, I think Mike is uh, a dog trainer of some sort. Uh, well, nearly. I'll, I'll give you a small rip of applause for that because right. you mentioned he's, dogs. He's so, treating well me like a pet. He's, uh, no. he's a. He was supposed to be a dog making a dirty phone call, but uh, oh. that was a, that's a complicated one to get All across. Right. Uh, yes? Uh, he is just hypercritical. Just he, nitpicking yeah. everything. And he's increasingly annoyed at your stupidity, would you ah, say? Well. Yes. Aren't we all? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your last and shot. Uh, I, I believe Ryan was possessed by the devil, perhaps. Uh, <laughs> close enough. He's wow. challenging the spirits of your dead relatives. So, well done. The head I think, uh, well done. We go on to a game called Song Titles. As for all four contestants, acting out a scene where you only speak in song titles. Sounds hard. It's even harder, though. And it's at the, it's at the race track, or the race course, as we'd say in England. And you can only speak in song titles. Where you go. Come on, Eileen! <laughs> Come on, Eileen! Hello, goodbye. <laughs> Michelle. I'm a loser. Cool, baby, that's really free. <laughs> Run away, little girl! <laughs> Run away, little girl! <laughs> a horse with no name! <laughs> I dig a pony. I've got a ticket to ride. <laughs> Good golly, Miss Molly. Satisfaction. <laughs> Shake it all over. Should I stay or should I go? <laughs> you make me feel like dancing. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. <laughs> Dance the night away. Sergeant Pepper? It's good to be back. I am the walrus. <laughs> so, um, could somebody like to volunteer to have a song made up about you? A man, ideally? Oh, yes, sir, right at the front. What's your name? Hope it's nice right... Sorry? Andy. Andy. That's, a, that's a good name. And have you, have you got a job, Andy? I'm an account manager. All right, I thought you might be an account manager for what kind of firm? Oh. A fruit machine firm. 
fruit machine. So they are. <laughs> Bet you wish I hadn't asked now, aren't you? Uh, so an account manager, fruit machine firm for Andy. And can you make it up in the style of a uh, big musical number? A love song, though, because it's Andy. A love, uh, big love song. Big musical number. We'll start off love and song. we'll end big. You set the mood there, Richard. <laughs> that he's got I want him to get his change out and put his coin right in my slot <laughs> There's something about his curly hair that makes me feel fine and dandy And you know what my boy is called? He's called Andy <laughs> Well, one day we're gonna get married and he's gonna wear a suit and together just like the fruit Machines, we're gonna make a lot of fruits Cause I love him so, I love him so I'll get down on my knees And say, Andy, come on and touch my machine And give my lemons a squeeze There's something about him That makes me feel fine and dandy And yes, you've guessed it His wonderful name is Andy Okay, and uh, I'm afraid all the points have been lost from the first half because of a computer error as we go into the second half. <laughs> Starting with a game called uh, Sports Commentators. Uh, this is going to feature Ryan and Colin acting out uh, sort of everyday activity while the other two, Greg and Rory, commentate on them. And as commentators obviously have to sit on stools. Rory, which commentator could you be for this one? Virtually anyone. Why don't you be Murray Walker? I think yeah, Murray Walker would be good. Murray Walker. Two guys at uh, adjoining desks in an office. That's what you're acting out. And you two are commentators. Cheers. Take it away. Oh, well, what, what, what were they? Sorry. They were. Was I, was <laughs> Sorry, I going too quickly for you? Uh, two uh, guys at adjoining desks in an office. Uh, okay. Okay. Should I, was that too British, the way I said that? No, no. no I, fine. I okay. understood, but thank you for patronising. <laughs> You seem to be leaving with your chin on that one, but <laughs> where you yeah. go? As I do. Yes. At least he's got one. Yeah. <laughs> Look, and a neck, too. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, sorry. Uh, right, Good, evening, Good evening, everyone. Stop that game very quickly. Good evening, everyone. I'm Snacky Cracky. And I'm Murray Walker. Where is... No, I'm not Murray Walker. No, yes, I am. Sorry. <laughs> and he's Murray Walker. He thinks. Yeah. We're here at the finals of the office championships this year, and it looks to be an extremely tight match, doesn't it, Murray? Yes, it does. And in the office now, they're neck and neck. The desks are side by side on the grid. And look at that! Look at that! Unless I'm very much mistaken, they, it's, it's the typing pool. It's the typing pool indeed. Colin looks to have somewhat of a head start over Ryan. He's already finished two paragraphs. Ryan seems to have some... Oh, hey, my no, goodness! No! Right to the chin, Murray. What do you make of that? Well, what will FIFA make of that? One has to wonder. This is the sort of thing they've tried to stamp out, and it's time for a... Oh, my goodness! Right into the stapler! That has got to hurt! No, back, put him back. Ryan has just stapled Colin's hand to the desk, Murray. That's got to be a penalty of some kind. How's he going to make it back after this one? He's, the staples are out. The staples are out. There's been a quick staple change. Uh-oh, uh, Colin's now, got something in his hand, Murray. Can you make out what that is? It's a pencil sharpener. He's sharpening the pen in, in the ear. Oh, it goes oh, in the ear and out the other side. Now, that is amazing. And now, let's see that again. That is the maneuver. Let's see that one more time. In slow motion here, you can see just as the pencil reaches its apogee of perfection, he reaches for Ryan's ocular orifice, and oh my goodness, I do not care where you're from, that's got to smart a little bit. So clean through, and what can happen next? He's grabbing the crotch, something's coming toward it. Yes, yes. it's the coffee! It's <laughs> and it's all happening, you'll have to change into the wet weather trousers now. <laughs> Colin so. seems to have fallen behind somewhat after being obliterated with that pot of decaf. And Ryan is paragraphs ahead now as Colin's rolling a joint. No. He's got something up his sleeve. It's, it's a, a paper dark. airplane and it is going to bingo. <laughs> okay, that's in there. Thank you very much. 
Now, the idea of this game is that Josie is presenting a daytime talk show, uh, and, it's, and it's an emotional and a harrowing kind of program of that type, but they're not talking about the usual topics of incest within the family. It's some other more everyday, mundane subject or activity. Can you think of a... Washing up. Washing up. Very good. That's, that's about as mundane as every day as it gets. So you're talking about washing up, but bringing all that intensity of a daytime talk show. Take it away, Josie. Hello, and uh, welcome to Come On, Get It Out. <laughs> uh, today on Come On, Get It Out, uh, we're talking about something that is a really traumatic thing, actually. I mean, washing up <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I mean, come on, get it out. <laughs> uh, now, um, Julie, Julie, yeah. uh, tell us, when did this, this sort of obsession, this fear of, of washing up liquid oh. uh, start? Come on. I, I think it's... I think it was when Persil suddenly went into the market and then they, they started bringing out a lemon one. <laughs> and I don't know why. I used to make things dirty just so I could wash them up. Oh, I see. I find myself getting... I'm sorry, it's still... It's all right. Now, Fred. Yes. Come on. Now, it's very, very brave of you to be here because you have you to take be... your hand off my fucking knee? Sorry. <laughs> As you can tell, the emotions are really hot in this. Fred, you had something terrible happen because of W-U-L, didn't you? I was at Niagara Falls. Yeah. On my honeymoon. Mm. My wife and I had a novelty act where uh -huh. we would tie many dishes and pots and pans to our body yeah. and go over the falls. Oh, that's oh, being the love. Yes, yes. My wife didn't have her protective helmet on. She was dashed to the rocks below! <laughs> Every dish broken! <laughs> I have not worked since then! I've constantly been put on pills to relax me! Yes, okay. They're not okay. working! Look at me, look at me. I am! All right, it's all right. <laughs> did, did you get the dishes glued back? Yes, and they were spotless, but my wife can never be glued back together again. That's true. Now, now, um, John, John, yeah. come on, be brave. I am you brave. Can't, I'm a brave guy. You can't really uh, begin to tell about the horror of what happened with you and washing up liquid, but you're, you're on this program today, and I want you to try, John. I want you to, it's, to try. It's ruined my life. It's ruined my life. My wife has left me. <laughs> well, you tell her boyfriend, go. shut Oh. Now, come on, Fred. Come on, Fred, you've had your go. You've had your she go. She took the dishes away, brought in paper plates. I washed those. She took away my sponge. I used the cap. <laughs> I took off layer after layer of skin. I used to weigh 420 pounds. <laughs> Where will it end? Stop it, stop it. Now, stop it. No, no, now, no, now, stop no, it. <laughs> This. It's oh, sorry, it's affecting me as well. The government needs to step in. Yes, they do. And, and start what... washing up programs. It's true. No, and what you need no, to do. No. 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 What you need to do. All like you were all fucking washed up. Yes. <laughs> now what you need. I think we'll end there. Thank you very much. Very good. No time to score that game as we go on to a game called Director. This is for Greg and Ryan. They're going to act out a scene, and Colin is going to be the director, giving them some uh, further instructions of what to do. Uh, the film will be Alien, and one of the members of the spaceship isn't feeling too well. And uh, you just act that scene, and Colin will be giving you some directions and some, um, some ideas for you to have to incorporate in your improvisation. I suppose you could pretend to read out anything, really. But uh, where you go, that's what you're supposed to do, Colin. Take it away. You, you make this salad? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, God. I believe how hungry I am. It is so nice to be off that planet. I'll <laughs> tell you one thing. I didn't feel good about it down there. I really oh. didn't. It seemed like there was oh. some sort of bizarre, oh. I don't know, kind of otherworldly oh. form going on. What? What? I didn't believe that. Come on, that's your little emotion out there. You know what? We need something different. <laughs> double takes. You have to constantly give double takes. What? I don't know. Because in space, no one can see you. <laughs> Just do it. Action. 
Boy, did you make this salad? I did. Why am I hungry? Mm. Me too. Whoa, you know, I am I hungry? <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> you know, I had a bad feeling. I'm that. sorry, I led you down the wrong path. That sucked. Yes. It was too bad. Oh, it was horrible. I was feeling that. Shut up. What we need is something, something as if it's in a musical. What? Musical Hi. where you sing and do it a beat. Action. <laughs> Gee whiz, he's grumpy today. I'm a guy, I'm a guy, and I really like your pie. Boy, oh. it's good. Boy, it's good. Ooh, let's eat, ooh, let's ooh. eat. Mm, this pie ooh. tastes really neat. Ooh. Like it would. Like it would. <laughs> it's nice to be here. I'm really happy. I'm the monster that's coming in your Okay, okay, you know what? Uh, I don't think that's right. together. This dude is German strippers. German strippers? You heard me. German strippers. With a shoulder disability. <laughs> Action! Fuss and dust pie. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Du pie is good. Fuss and dust. Uh, okay, well done. Uh, is, is there a girl who'd like a song made up about her? Any girl will do. Oh, yes, a, a forest of hands. Uh, what's your name, please? Pauline. Pauline. Where are you from, Pauline? Uh, just near Edinburgh. Just near Edinburgh. And what's your job, Pauline? I sell cars. You sell cars? <laughs> uh, great. It's a, surprising you managed to get here. But anyway, that's uh, <laughs> so Pauline. You can throw in Edinburgh if you want, and she sells cars. Pauline so, sells and then, cars. can you do a sort of Britpop song? Are you Sure. Been in the country long enough? Heard about Britpop? I've been Pop. watching EastEnders. Oh, great. <laughs> Britpop song from Brad. Take it away. I just made the scene <laughs> With a girl whose name was Pauline She took me to those special places Okay.